Right? I don't know if that makes sense. Okay. Uh, so here's another e example, I guess. Uh, it's, it's somewhat a uh, different example. This time around, we're saying we want to multiply what? Five times what? Yeah. Five times 10, we know the answer is 50, right? So are we going to be able to get 50? Yeah, this is 10, right? Uh, two plus eight. So, so we go through the same process. The reason I included this is because we have slightly more placeholders here, right? So it's gonna be slightly involving because you'll be adding like three rows, right? Although, I mean, it's, there's nothing to it really. So one times zero is gonna be zero, and then one times one is gonna give us a one, one times zero is a zero, one times one is a one. And then we move on to the next number, right? Which is a zero. Uh, and I guess the zero, we expect to have zeros throughout because zero times any number is, do you want to move slightly? I don't think it was here. Um, it's gonna be zero throughout, right? And then we move to the last digit, which is a one. One times zero is one, one times one is one, one times zero is zero, and then one times one is one. And then what we do now is we add these three rows, right? So zero, here we just drop, one plus zero is just one, zero plus zero plus zero is just zero, one plus zero plus one is just zero remainder one, right, or carry one. Um, and then we just have one plus zero plus zero, which is one, right? And then one plus nothing is just one, and then we have our answer, right? This makes sense. And you notice that this is a 50, right? This is a one's place, two's place, so that's two. Um, four's place, eight's place, 16's place, 64's place, right? Is that so? Yeah, then when you add this, it should give you, no, not 64, this is 32, sorry. So when you add uh, 32 plus 16 plus, plus two, you should get 50. 